Although summer break just started, School District 2 is already hard at work for next fall. District employees have picked out new textbooks and curriculum and have started updating chemistry labs in the Billings High Schools. All this progress after Billings voters passed a nearly $1 million levy in May. Now the district also in the process of hiring four new career coaches. Q2's Mitch Laggy is standing by now with an update on the district's progress. Mitch. That's right, Janelle. It's been full steam ahead for District 2 staff since school got out. They've picked out new learning materials for middle and high schools, paid for with the help of that levy. I sat down with District 2 Superintendent Greg Upham to hear more about the district's progress and hear uh, his vision for a paradigm shift in the Billings Public Schools. What are you interested in? What do you want to do? There's so much, there's more opportunity now for students than there ever has been. We are going to have to help our parents, our teachers, and our students see the education system in a different manner. Billings School District 2 Superintendent Greg Upham wants the Billings schools to cater to career-oriented students, as well as those headed to college. The district is in the process of hiring four career coaches. Their job? To help high school students connect with jobs in the real world. We want their high school day to look different, especially in their junior and senior year. We want them on the job site, in the workplace, while they're in high school, so they can get a flavor, a taste of exactly what the expectations are in the career that they're interested in. Upham describes the process of filtering students to their respective career interests as a hub and spoke. Groups like Job Service and Big Sky Economic Development will work with the district's community outreach director as the hub. Then, career coaches will be the spokes, directing students to a job that they have chosen. Yeah, what we're trying to do is, is we're trying to bump the conversation at the breakfast table. And so now, with the opportunities that are out there, we want to expand that knowledge to say that What's not being discussed at the breakfast table now can be discussed in a family and there are these types of opportunities and most importantly, we're going to connect you with the people who you need to know. And that's really exciting. Upham wants students in middle school to be thinking about their future. We want our middle school teachers, our middle school support staff, our middle school students, our middle school parents to understand specifically what careers are open to them and the pathways that SD2 has built in middle school so that when they sign up for that first year their freshman for freshman classes, they already have an interest portfolio put together um, to, to help them align to the direction they may want to go with their careers. Time will tell how the new opportunities will work out for billing students. And Upham told me the district expects to have the career coaches hired by the third week in July. And if you're interested in what textbooks will be used in the Billings High Schools next year, they're on display for public viewing right now at the Lincoln Center. Janelle? Thanks so much, Mitch.